Hi, this is Sarah with Grace Company Tech Support, and today we're going to review how to troubleshoot your encoders. If you're having skipped or long stitches, the first thing you want to do is sew a square in manual mode. Manual mode does not use the encoders, so this is a good indicator whether or not you're having a tension issue or an encoder issue. If you notice any longer skip stitches while using manual mode, this would indicate a tension issue. If you don't notice these, let's move on with troubleshooting. Next, we want to sew a square in regulated precise mode. Regulated precise mode uses the encoders and this would be a good indicator to see whether or not we're having an encoder issue. As you can see, I'm having some long stitches on all sides of the square. This could mean that my encoders are probably not installed correctly or I'm running over something like thread or cabling, which is causing the encoders to not ride along the tracks correctly. If you notice long stitches going from left to right, this indicates a bottom encoder issue. If you notice long stitches going from front to back, this indicates a top encoder issue. Now let's check the cabling to make sure the encoders are plugged in correctly. The encoders are labeled with colored stickers so you know which port they plug into. The green tag is for the bottom encoder and will plug into the green port. The purple encoder is for the top encoder and will plug into the purple port. We also want to check the cables and make sure that the connector isn't broken as this could cause encoder issues. Remove both cables and make sure the tab is still connected. If this is broken, you will need a new encoder cable to ensure a firm connection inside the machine. If neither cable tabs are broken but you are unable to plug the cables into the machine firmly, this could be a mainboard issue and that would need to be replaced. You may notice the encoder isn't riding along the track all the way. It's still rolling, but it's not quite on the plastic tracks and more on the metal track support. In order to fix this, you just want to take your fingers and bend it back so it rides along the track. You can test this by moving the machine front and back and make small adjustments if you need to. But now you can see that it's riding all the way. You may also notice that the lock collar isn't sitting at the 12 o'clock position. To adjust this, move the lock collar in the correct position and tighten the small screw with your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Test the encoder by moving it along the tracks and make sure the encoder has enough tension to spring back when pulled towards you. If you continue to experience issues, please contact our Grace Company tech support.